Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Negative Zero and this video is a tutorial on how to install custom portraits for your characters in Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. Now there are already YouTube videos and website tutorials that explain how to do this, but most of them expect you to use Photoshop, which I can't afford, or GIMP, which is free but has multiple issues that make things way too complicated. So if you already own Photoshop or know how to use GIMP effectively, this video is not for you. But for the average gamer that just wants to put their favorite fantasy character into the world of Rivlon, you're in the right place. When I recently installed Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition, I was thinking I wanted to try a magic only run. And for the two starting characters, who's more magical than Gandalf and Albus Dumbledore? Much to my dismay, however, I discovered that the default portraits in the game are woefully inadequate, so I decided to take matters into my own hands, and you can too. First, we'll need some pictures of our magical boys. For this, let's turn to Google and do a quick search for Gandalf. We'll get a lot of images, but we'll want to filter these a little bit. So we'll click on Tools, Size, and then we'll only take icons. And we'll pick one of these. Let's pick this one. It looks pretty good. 256 by 256 will have to be resized. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go. Uh, I just right clicked. Then we'll have Image and we're gonna save the image. We're gonna throw it right onto our desktop. We're gonna call it, we're just gonna call it Gandalf. Maybe Gandalf Portrait. Yeah. Let's do the same for Dumbledore. So now that we've got the images we want, we need to resize them so they fit the portraits in game. To do that, we can use Microsoft Paint. I can find paint by just typing paint in the search bar, but I believe if you right click and just go down to edit, you can use paint. We don't wanna use paint 3D, we're gonna use regular paint. And there's our image. It's too large, so we're going to have to resize it. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that dot that's right there, but we're not gonna worry about it for now. This is already a square. Once you click on resize right here, we want to go over to pixels. 256 is too big. We want it to be 64 by 64. It's already got a good aspect ratio. I think we're good here. Let's do that. The image is smaller. Let's save it. In fact, let's do save as, and we're going to go to desktop and we're going to name it Gandalf. You know what? We're going to call it Gandalf 64. I'm not going to keep it the same thing. Uh, just in case I need this picture later like if I wanted to edit that dot. Let's do the same thing with Dumbledore. So now that we have the correctly sized images for our portraits, we need to replace two of the portraits in the game. Uh, the portraits are not easily accessible in the game files, so we'll have to install a portrait mod, then edit that mod to get our portraits installed. To do this, let's turn to the custom portraits for enhanced edition mod on the Divinity Original Sin Nexus. Now this mod should be in the Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition Nexus, which can be confusing, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. Anyway, let's go to the files. We'll want to download the optional file Divinity EE Edit Portraits. This one is nice because if we look at the file contents, it has an unedited portrait image. Using this, we'll be able to change only what we want changed. So let's download this mod. At this point, I guess I should mention that to download files from Nexus Mods, you will need to make an account. It's free. You just need an email. It doesn't cost anything. I can't actually download this right now because I'm not signed in, but if I was and I did download it, the downloaded file would look like this. This, however, is not the mod. It's a compressed file and we will need to use a file extraction tool to get to the stuff that we want. Now, there are many, many extraction tools out there. Use the one you like. I prefer 7-Zip because it's simple and it works but it doesn't really matter what you use as long as it does the job. So I'm going to go to our downloaded file, right click and extract to a new folder. 
in this folder is that unchanged portraits file that we want. Let's bring that to the desktop and close this window. At this point, we've got everything in place. Our job now is to get our two wizard portraits into this portraits file. To do this, we are going to turn to paint.net. You see, the portraits image that we're trying to change is a DDS file, which stands for Direct Draw Surface. Paint.net is one of the few free image editing apps that will work with DDS files. So let's download it. By the way, the URL for paint.net is actually getpaint.net, which can be confusing. I'll post a link in the description. In any case, we'll want the free version from .pdn. There you go. Let's go ahead and extract it like we did with the mod file. And taking a look, you can see there is an executable file that you would double click on to install it. I already have it installed, so I won't do it here. But once you do, you should get a shortcut that looks like this. Let's fire it up. So at first glance, this can look pretty busy and intimidating, but for what we want to do, things are pretty simple. Let's first open up Gandalf's picture and we'll select it using this button right here, the rectangle select. We're just going to select the entire picture and we'll copy it. We're just going to copy and paste it into the other file. So let's open that up. The file, the DDS file that we've been talking about is called portraits underscore main PL underscore CP underscore icons. That's the file. And you can see here's all the portraits for the players. The bottom half here is what we can use for our main character. And it's a little small. We have to line up things perfectly. So let's move in a little bit. And I'm going to replace this picture and this picture. Obviously not the lady because... We're not playing a lady. Let's go ahead and paste Gandalf in. We'll grab him. There we go. And make sure it lines up perfectly. That looks perfect to me. And we will save it. I don't know what any of this means, but I'm going to click OK. Now we need to do Dumbledore. So let's open up his file. Dumbledore 64. Select copy open up the file we just had the portraits file and zoom in again and paste does that look lined up i think it's lined up we're good save it click ok close now we're at the point where we need to take this portraits file that we've just edited and put it into the game. First things first, let's go ahead and copy the portraits file, and then we need to figure out where we need to install it. To do that, let's go back to the Nexus page for custom portraits. If we scroll down, you will see right here, copy and paste the DDS file into this location. Now, it should be, uh, if you have the default Steam folder, it'll be C Program Files. If I click right here, C Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. And I've actually gone to there in my folder, and you can see I have more folders in there, and that's where the game is located. But we have a small issue. It says Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. The next folder is the Data folder. So if we go in there, actually, let's do it like this. You'll see I have editor levels and localization, but there's no public folder. That's a problem. We actually, actually, it's not a problem. We just need to make the folder. If you've installed other mods, you probably already have a public folder. But if you haven't, and this is a vanilla version of the game, I haven't done anything except for this portrait thing, I need to make the folders myself. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it public. 
and we'll go into that folder. And it looks like the next folder here is going to be shared. So we're going to make a new folder. We'll call it shared. Go inside of that. Next one is assets. So new folder. Assets. After that is textures. Here we go. And then the final one, icons. So new folder, then icons. I think I have spelled everything correctly. So we want to go into the icons folder and paste. And that, I believe, does it. Let's go ahead and fire up the game. Fire up the game and see if it worked. So here we are in character creation. I'm not really worried about making my wizard boys just yet. I just want to see if the portraits thing worked. So we're going to cycle through these and hopefully we're going to find. There they are. All right. So here's, here's Dumbledore. Let's go back. Uh, let's mess with this one. Oh, right, right there. So there's our boys. Of course, we can edit the avatars, the dolls as well, and I'll surely do that in my playthrough, but I just want to make sure that we got the portraits to work, and we did. So that is how you create a simple way and free way to create custom portraits for Divinity Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Now, I am clearly not an expert at this, but if you do have questions or you get stuck uh, feel free to drop a comment and I will try to respond. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you found it informative and useful. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.